Hello Zebaherd and welcome back to Bloons Tower Defense 6 and today we are going to be doing some Dart Monkey Madness later in today's episode but first I wanted to of course start with the daily challenge if I can, looks like it, but yeah I wanted to level up some Dart Monkeys later and try to see how much I can get, like if I do an entire round or a couple rounds with only Dart Monkeys can I get them to their maximum upgrades with the experience, that's what we're going to find out later today but we might as well try out, uh, I don't know how all this is going to turn out, this is a hard difficulty uh, Challenge, as you can see on the top left by the little monkey symbol. End of the road, hard standard. Monkeys available, you have the submarine, the buccaneer, and the cannon, and we get a 022 cannon and a portable pool or something, portable lake as a reward. But yeah, we'll try to give that a shot and see how things end up going. If not anything else, it'll serve as a fun warm up, warm -up for today. So I think that will honestly start with the, the buccaneer monkey. I think that's better than uh, starting with the submarine at first because it just has a little bit more firing power from what I've seen and it has some earlier to access upgrades. Um, I guess a long range would be nice. But you guys have been giving me tons of advice for this game and I've been enjoying it so very much. I've been having so much fun with this game and I can't wait to play more. Okay, so these guys are already moving pretty gosh darn quick. So I'll have to be ready for this as much as possible. But I think for right now it would be smart just to keep upgrading him and I don't really know how much more we could use the cannons for because like that's sort of what the buccaneer monkey does is handles the leads, handles the, you know, the, all the other stuff. So like, do we really even need the cannon here? I don't really know. How are his upgrades? Like we, we already got him pretty far. He has 10,000 experience. We can already get the generates lots of money per round and monkeys sold in radius get more cash back. I feel like I want to try that one. See if we can't get like a good start with that. Cause we have a while until we get the leads because this has to last until round 80. The only problem is we can only put so many Buccaneers and uh, submarines down. So we'll have to make a good balance on what we want to get done. But honestly, I don't know if we even want either um, the other thing. Do I want faster shooting or grape shot? Let me take a look at those upgrades. Cause then we have hot shot, which you guys have said that all burning shots get rid of leads. That's good to keep in mind. But then we also have weapon shoot 25% faster and then also shooting two darts at once. So I think that will stick with the grape shot and then hot shot and then also move up into the favored trades and then maybe do a second buccaneer if we can. So doing that for now and then we'll get the grapes which will be 540 and that'll be a pretty decent start. And then we'll start running into leads and we'll be able to deal with those guys. We have a good, almost you know, yeah, like uh, 18 rounds or so until we, or like 16 rounds until we have to deal with the camo. So like we have a lot of options. I think so things will turn out just fine. The only problem is like maybe the volume of balloons might be a little too much. We'll have to wait and see. But even now we have some really fantastic range. So if, if we lose a couple now, I'm not gonna complain too much. Okay, we got the 540. I think that'll change some things up a lot. So we took a couple damage. The only problem is we only have 100 health. So I probably will lose because I've never played on hard before, but I wanted to try it. It might be fun experience for our Buccaneer. And so far, I, I definitely see that it is. We need 37,000 for that. So that's gonna take some extra work for sure. But later in today's episode, I wanna do a couple rounds just with dart monkeys, just like all different forms of them and sort of really see how much experience we can get for them that way. I feel like that would be fun. Okay, so I think we need some other firepower out. I think 595 for another Buccaneer would probably be our best bet because these guys go a long way, I'm sure you've noticed. So we can put one just right there and sort of get started with that. Also, you guys let me know that I can change, you know, this kind of stuff. I can choose, you know, him to attack what's close or what's strongest. And I think that might be best for him because we're gonna make him really powerful in a different way. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have done the top two. Uh, yeah, maybe. We'll have to wait and see. Because I mean, he would have just gotten slightly faster shooting, which could have been good, but that's sort of what the uh, submarines are gonna be for. So I'm not too super duper worried about that. Let's just keep moving for now. Um, Cause I want you to get, oh, let's try to get you your 2485 cause that will uh, generate cash each round automatically. And I feel like that could be good just to get that kind of stuff early. So let's go for it. And then once we fill up the water, that's when we can start ending up worrying about the cannon a bit more and when we can start getting the Moab molars and all that kind of stuff. I mean, there's a lot of balloons coming in, but we're handling them just fine. So I'm just gonna keep on saving up until we have 2,500, and then from there, I think things will go really even better. I can only hope. We'll have to see how much cash it actually ends up giving us. Maybe it'll be more each time, maybe it'll be less and less each time, I'm not really sure. So right now, though, we're like handling these before they can even make their second loop around. With the second Buccaneer, it's easy enough. So that's what I'm focusing on, and everything seems to be turning out pretty gosh darn well. So 1,500, now we need to save up another 1,000, and that should be fine. Okay, so 
One thing I wanted to ask for today's episode, I've been asking you all about like different strategies you might be using and you know, what your thoughts are on the game so far. My question for you today, if you want to answer, is what is your favorite tower out of all of them? Which tower is your favorite? And our last episode, I think I asked, I should have, or no, the episode before that, which hero is your favorite? This time I wanna know which tower is your favorite. There's a lot to choose from. So I'm taking a bit more damage than I'd like, so I gotta be careful, but we're so close to getting what I want. So if I could just hold out a little bit longer, that'd be great. So 2485, you know what, let's just do the grapes. I know I waited this long to do it, and that was probably a mistake. Uh, Let's also upgrade you. Okay, because I'm getting hurt here way too much. I'm already down to 64 health. I don't like that. So maybe I could keep on saving up in a little bit, or maybe I could just keep on saving up now. We'll have to wait and see. Because those, this lets us see camo, right? I'm pretty sure. Yep, hey camo balloon. So we're fine with that now. Uh, And we are hitting these things a lot. So I think we'll be fine with this for another couple of rounds and we're earning money a little bit more quickly. So we might be able to get to 2,500 this time. Oh, okay, we got the purple balloons. Luckily we don't have any kind of like magic type monkey. The fire though. I mean, I guess the fire's not that big of a deal. Okay. Oh, we got some, some zebras coming in. Sorry, zebras. I might wanna turn off the hint soon, but I wanna, I wanna sort of get more familiar with the game before I do that, because they pop up a lot. Come on, come on, come on, this is a lot of greens. I feel like this time they're just trying to overwhelm us with stuff, which sometimes works for them, sometimes not so much. Oh, it's really working this time. Hold on, can I get like a superpower out before we die? Uh, it's fine for now. I mean, I have a lot of these. A lot of you have been saying I should probably be spending these more often. So I might do a cash drop. No, 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 I just want to drop one in. Oh, so they gave us a 200, but now I can't use the cash drop anymore. Weird, can you only use it during the fight? Okay, so you know what then? We're gonna go ahead and do one of these tacks. I got one of these for uh, playing, uh, you know, just for setting up the game. You know, you know, you get the daily reward, so that was pretty cool. Oh, no, they, they got attacked on the way in. I was trying to get those, so they attack on the way out, but I guess it doesn't work that way for this map. That's sort of a shame, but as you can see, we're tearing up the leads very easily, so my next goal is to upgrade that. That should be good, and then we need you to see camo soon, so. Yeah, we're working real hard now, because the monkey pirates, what do they do? A Moab takedown ability grapples, a Moab balloon and brings it down. That's pretty good but I don't need it right away. I don't need that until like round 40. So I can focus on some other stuff for now. Let's not overextend on our upgrades. I mean, I could do the 6,000 and that would be really crazy, but I think right now we need to do submarines. As Like how many do we got? We can put two in. So let's go ahead and get started with that. And you guys actually let me know a major mistake I was making with the submarines that I'm definitely going to fix this time as far as I can understand, is that when you submerge in support, you can actually change it so that you're no longer su submerged. So I think that's something we'll try to do this time and see if it works because you know, we're already at 38 health. If something's gonna go wrong, it's gonna go wrong. But at least this is some good practice. I can understand what we're gonna be in for when it comes to this. So boom, got that. So right now he is submerged, but I can make it so he's attacking things first. Cause honestly, I don't really need him to be submerged. Um, submerged to detect camo pop balloons and reduce ability cooldowns of nearby water-based monkeys. That sounds like it could be really good though. So like, he's probably still gonna stay submerged. Not now, because we need him to be out, out here and firing. But that's still pretty gosh darn good. And then for you, I mean, we gotta save up some cash for right now. We got a bunch of camos, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I still want him to have the top two, because it's always good to have that advanced intel. And then I think we're gonna do twin guns for him, because I really like that one. Um, and then we can keep upgrading that, because it has armored piercing darts, which can damage more Moab class balloons. When it comes to this, we need 8,000 more experience for it, so we're getting some really good level ups for all of that. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. We can do it, we can do it. So now that we've gotten a good chunk of cash, I'll go ahead and get that twin gun, gun upgrade. We got a lot more saving to do though. But once we get it going, like once we get that 6,000, I think things are gonna really start going our way. We'll have to wait and see, oh my gosh, we might lose before then. Jeez, that's crazy. So I think that, you know what? We'll get some early attacks on these guys. That would be good. And then we're gonna extra range them. And then maybe we could do faster reload. Yeah, we'll go ahead and make you the Moab Mauler. That sounds pretty good to me. Okay, lots of camos, not too worried about that. Okay, so things got nasty there again. And they might continue to be. But as long as I keep upgrading you guys, things will eventually turn out my way, right? I can only hope. So I probably wanna make you the Moab Mauler. Cause I don't think I can fit anything more in this. Oh, I can sneak one up there, that's very good to know. Uh, for now, go ahead and just give you that. But I don't wanna give too much more with all of that. Those guys are camos then, good to know. So we're almost halfway done. Not even a full way done, isn't that insane? 
We're about to run into a Moab though. I think it's at round 40, right? Just like an easy mode. So we gotta be careful of that. And so far we are as regrow balloons. That shouldn't be too big of a deal. I'm gonna get that and 3,240 might be something I can save up for, but maybe not this round. I'm glad we'll get the Moab Mauler. I think that was sort of the best choice for that. I, I'm sort of like sporadic with what I'm uh, promoting when, and that might be a bad idea, but the Moab Mauler is really helping, but will it be helpful enough? Oh gosh, yeah, it just barely will be. The extra 200 coming in every single time has been pretty huge. If we could just get a calm spot and earn up the 6,000, I think that'll be good. So let's try for that. Come on, come on, come on, you guys can do it. We're at 4,000 now, and we are really making it tough for them to push much farther than that. I think we'll end up doing the cluster bombs next time. Okay, we got regrow balloons, not a big deal. Yeah, we're about to hit 6,000. I only need like 5,900, but it's just under, so. Oh, I just need a couple more balloons, got it. Upgrade to that, so we'll be getting more uh, money next time, which will be really good, because we're already getting a lot of money. 500 every single time is pretty huge. So, for you, I might as well give you I mean, we can try the barb darts, heat tip darts. That might be good. And then I wanna keep upgrading that over time. But what do we wanna do now? I mean, I think the 3455 would be good. It would be instantly getting rid of a Moab. But it would also sort of be a tough situation. Come on, boom, got it. So, that's a little scary though. Um, we're handling it for now. I'm just trying to find out what's the next best thing. I think that we need for you Maybe do you also twin guns? I mean, maybe not though. You know what, let's go ahead and do this one. I wanna see what, yeah, we got the ballistic missile. That could be really good. And then we gotta also focus on our, our towers up this way. It gets really tough to like figure out what we wanna prioritize. Fortified ceramic balloons are coming up next, I've noticed. So we already got your Moab Mauler, so when a Moab shows up, we can press that button and immediately get rid of it, but it'll just pop into a bunch of balloons, so that's something we gotta keep in mind. Oh my gosh, okay, we just lost. Yeah, that happened a lot quicker than I thought. Defeat 47, I think that's gonna be the best I'll do. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And you know, that was our try at the hard difficulty daily challenge. I can't complain that I wasn't able to do it. We don't have any more monkey knowledge, do we? I guess we don't. We're not quite at a level up. Anyway, so we're gonna be moving on for the first time to the intermediate maps. We completed all the beginner maps in the last episode. So let's keep going with the level cracked um, and see how things go. I don't know if things will go well, but we'll find out together. So the first thing I'm gonna do, like I said, is I'm gonna play a lot of just normal balloon monkeys, or normal dart monkeys. Uh, we're gonna give them good eyesight. I think for you, we're gonna give them quick shot and see how that ends up going. I mean, we could've just put out a, a lot of dart monkeys to start things off. It might be smarter for now, though, to do this. I don't know. <laughs> so we'll give it a shot. We'll see how things go. And it's still easy mode. So now that we've sort of, you know, gotten a little bit more ready with how hard mode is, like how many experience we have? We have 3,000. We already have the Ultra Juggernaut unlocked. If we could also get the Plasma Monkey Fan Club and the Crossbow Master unlocked in today's episode, I feel like that'd be super exciting. Um, so let's go for that, or at least try the Plasma Monkey Fan Club. I think that would be really cool. So we're gonna get a second monkey out just like that, and he's gonna take the center. And then maybe the sharp shots, because he doesn't really need that much longer range. Since he's not gonna be able to see camo, so that's up to this other guy. So we're just gonna try to earn that up as much as possible. Things get nasty, that's what the power-ups are for. It's so nice to see 200 health instead of 100, though. I think medium difficulty is 150. Let's do very quick shots, and then we'll upgrade you to triple. I mean, for right now, we'll do razor sharp, because that's pretty affordable. Okay, so... Should we use a power-up, though? Like, I mean... I can only use these like when it's actually happening. But I get 2,500 for it, which is really huge. Okay, so. Oh, I can even afford this, the sharpshooter, right away. That's really good. That should help us handle everything we got here for a little while. The only problem is I do need some juggernauts out if I think I want to get rid of the, uh, the leads. So that's something I need to focus on soon as well. Because what, what was that, like round 16 were leads? I can't remember. That might be something I want to try. I mean, I don't want to use power-ups, once again, constantly in the easy mode. Uh, so that was probably the only power-up I'm going to use in today's episode, hopefully. I mean, I could upgrade, you know, I should probably get Quincy up too, because he's just so helpful to have. He's a really good hero. Oh, I'm giving you a target, all right. Okay, so, once again, I want to get a third monkey out soon, but if I could, yeah, I'm not going to be able to earn up 6,800 anytime soon, so I think, probably even out here, so that I can just quickly, Okay, yeah, that should be pretty good. That way I can very quickly um, pop leads 
And we're probably gonna have like a whole setup of just monkeys all the way down. So if, even if it's like too overwhelming, it should be okay. But I just need 255 so we can get the spike pole. And if we take a look at that, converts the Darmonk into a spike pole that hurls a large spike ball instead of darts. Good, good range, but slower attack speed. Each ball can pop a lots of balloons. So I really don't know if that pops large or not. I can only hope, right? Um, if it can crush ceramic balloons, I'm pretty sure it can pop lead. I mean, I know that Quincy can pop leads at some point, so that's pretty good. And we already have one of his abilities. We haven't really checked out his second ability too much though. So we're gonna keep with this for now. And maybe we'll even go into free play mode and see how things work there. I'm not really sure though. Okay. So I like this map, it's pretty cool. Reminds me of home. I mean, in some ways, I don't like all the deadly bones and stuff, but uh, some parts of it remind me of the Savannah. Anyway, so. Yeah? I don't see too much I can do at the moment. How are you doing an experience 7,000? Once again, we need 30,000. So it's gonna be a little while for now. I'm not gonna be on the edge of my seat. We might wanna save up that 1,500. And then as these waves get crazy and crazier, that would be good. You know what? Let's try this for the first time. Let's try our banana farm. Cause this, as you can see, the banana farm, you have a banana farm. These farms generate bananas automatically during each round. Convert the bananas into cash by tapping the bananas. Don't wait too long though, the bananas will spoil if not collected. So that's something we'll work on and maybe I can earn up a ton of yeah. money this way. I mean, for right now, I can't like, I don't know how you earn experience. You're not destroying any balloons. I guess it's just sort of for being here. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. So I might, Quincy might be going, yeah, 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 a lot because I don't know. Um, so we can do increased production. Uh, grows two extra banana bunches per round, or bananas last 30 seconds before rotting instead of 15, not so helpful. Uh, the collected, the collect radius on, of taps around each bananas is larger, making them easier to collect. Let's go ahead and actually do the one that'll be more helpful for what we're trying to get done, which is make a lot of money. I don't mind tapping them, I hope. I mean, it's hard to tell sometimes if I'm hitting them before they disappear, even when I'm in a slower mode, but I think it's getting worth our money already, which is great. Cause I need 1530 for that and that'll be really good. And now this, um, awesome. yes, six juggernaut balls for even more destructive power. So that sounds pretty good to me. So that's probably all we'll focus on is just the banana towers and the dart monkeys. So we'll see how that ends up working out. And so far we're destroying things wickedly quickly. The problem is that with how close we are to the entrance, if things get past us, they'll really get past us. So we might wanna have like a backup monkey over this way. And I'm thinking we'll go ahead and give him the center upgrade as well. Give him that, just in case we get like some yeah. camo leads. So this isn't too bad so far. We're getting $20 over and over and over again from this. We have enough experience to upgrade. Oh, we never bought that, I'm a dingus. Okay, so go ahead and do the long life bananas and the easy collect. Maybe we'll take the easy collect upgrade, it's something. So yeah, let's go ahead and get all of that. I mean, we have to pay for it, so it's sort of like you have to give and take, but I think it's overall worth it. Okay, so we're at 2,000 already. I need to save up 6,800. I really wanna get that super monkey. I've never gotten it before, but how are upgrades doing? 15,000. So things are going pretty well. We're almost done now, is a problem. And that's not what I like. So if I can run up that 6,000, it'd be really good before we get to wave 40 to see if that actually ends up happening. But it seems like I already have the 700 for the experience for greater production grows two more extra banana bunches per round. Go ahead and buy that. And that's only 510 actually. Oh, nice, we got a monkey knowledge point for level 35. I'll go ahead and buy that. Oh, it's all golden now, cool. Okay, so we're handling things however we can. Quincy's getting some level ups. Okay, so at this point, maybe we'll want another crossbow monkey. I mean, we're earning up cash pretty quickly. But that's why I want the 6,800. That way we can just activate the super monkey mode and everybody around this one monkey would turn into a super monkey and that's super duper awesome. So I wanna try that as much as possible. Come on, come on. I mean, I think it's just all the, the normal dart monkeys turn into super monkeys. Oh, that's scary. Oh, that's scary. Will we be able to do it? I'm just gonna get Quincy ready for just in case we can't. It's looking like we can now. Yes, okay, we are so close. Oh, those those bananas got old. I mean, I was focused on some more important stuff there for a moment. Okay, it's 60, 6,800, not 65. So, okay, Quincy, be ready. Oh, you, got, you hit a critical there? That's interesting. Come on, just a little bit more. What's Got the up? money, thank you, boom. So now, as you can see, I can activate that whenever it's ready, and then all of our dart monkeys will turn into uh, super monkeys for a little bit. So that's why it can be good just to get a ton of normal dart monkeys out here for a couple moments. Um, 
I want to save it till round 40 if I can manage. That way I can uh, worry about it then. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out our upgrades. We got valuable bananas. Bananas are worth 25% more cash per bunch. That sounds really good. Um, then we also have this, which we can't afford, which is uncollected bananas auto collect for half the amount. Good to know. Okay, so when it comes to everybody else though, we might as well make you like this and that, and then maybe we can make you I guess another super monkey. I don't know if it's worth having more than one. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, for now, we can do this and check some stuff out. What do we end up getting? I am Quincy. Son. I know you're Quincy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is going pretty well so far. The Moab's gonna come in in a moment, and that's where we're gonna pull out all the super monkeys, and it's gonna be really fun. So the rainbows we got. Okay, so Moab class balloon. Super monkeys, destroy them! Wow, that was like so quick, I didn't even see what happened. Very cool, so if I were to go into free play really quickly, yeah, I know what free play mode is, we've done this more than once. Um, 24,000, I am so close to that, so next round for sure. Um, for now, we're just gonna keep moving. Uh, go back to home, and we'll move on to the next map, which should be, also we got a quest, what is that gonna be? Win one game on an intermediate map. Cool, we got three more tacks for that. Road spikes, you know what I mean. Okay, so let's play. And we will do, what does that say, steam bed? Stream bed, okay. Interesting. So let's try this out. I think we'll start with another dart monkey again. And start with another dart monkey. Make these guys earn up as much experience as possible that way. Um, I think you having enhanced eyesight would be great. And you can start popping balloons all over the place. So we're looking for about 6,000 more experience for these guys until we have the Plasma Monkey Club. I mean, maybe now that we have this, we can upgrade these two and get the 1,060 for that. I mean, that's quite expensive to start, so it's hard to say. I mean, maybe it would be good to get Quincy out first, get Quincy and then the uh, thing. Maybe that's something we'll try next time. It's just going straight Quincy right away and then uh, the banana farm. Okay, so for you, I'm gonna go ahead and do quick shot and very quick shot. I think it'll be good. And then for you, we want I think these two. Nice, okay, so you're gonna get this and then get the 185 once you can afford it and hopefully that'll last for just a little while, just until we can get a couple hundred for Quincy. Only 600, which isn't too bad. So a lot of you have been giving suggestions on where I should be spending my points. It seems like there's a lot of possibilities. One thing to keep in mind with the wisdom points, I mean, is that we can't redo it. So if we make a bad choice, I guess we gotta keep on to it. I wonder, is it possible to run out of wisdom points? Like, is there gonna be a point in time in the game where it's like, okay, you've earned all the wisdom points you're allowed to earn? So like, or can I just slowly but surely unlock everything? I'm not really sure. Okay, so Quincy's almost available. We're at 550 now, just need 45 more, and come on, come on, come on. Don't let that stuff get past you. Very good. So I'm probably gonna put them around like this way. I'm trying to work with that uh, skeleton skull thing, the uh, T-Rex skull. And that seems to be working pretty well. So now we can just go full on saving up a thousand for this thing right here. That should be pretty good. Let's see what we end up getting. Oh, no, no, not that thing, this thing, 1,060, not 1,020. Even though the monkey tower is pretty cool, don't worry about that one right now. We're just trying to worry about dart monkeys, and I wanna get some crazy cool upgrades. I'm thinking the last round we'll do for today, we'll also make it free play so that we can really see what these max leveled like dart monkeys are. That's what I was something I've been wanting to do. I thought that'd be really fun. So that's what we'll be doing in today's episode. Okay, level up. What do we got going in now? Almost 1,000. Almost 1,060, and then we should be able to earn up money a bit more quickly. I'm thinking that we might do the one that actually does make the bananas twice as valuable. Well, not twice as valuable, but 25% more valuable. So we're gonna do the top one and the the middle one. So a, yeah, the, the first two. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense, right? It is a little expensive at first. Let me actually make sure I'm picking up the bananas that it is producing for right now, though, to make that easier. Um, Got it, so let's go ahead and do the increased production, and we'll just collect these as much as we possibly can. We are starting to get to this point, as you can see, where uh, things are a little bit hard to pick up and like keep an eye out, so I need to make sure we're also upgrading current monkeys. See, they start green, that way, no, of course, when a banana's not ripe, it's green, so it has a little while until you have to pick it up, which is nice, I appreciate that. Yes. So, we're gonna go ahead and give you this, and we're gonna give you, I mean, I guess spike -a that should be pretty good. And then we're gonna try to save up another 510, or actually, yeah, greater production, and then the valuable, you know what, let's do the valuable bananas first. I think that would help more over time. 
Got it. So we might be over a little overwhelmed at first, but I think this will be worthwhile over time. Oh, yeah. Look at all those. That was insane. 510. Okay, so this is where it becomes problematic because we just don't have enough experience for it. But we have banana salvage. Uncollected bananas, yep, for half of their mount. This one is gonna be 3,000 experience, so we have a good while to go for that one. Okay, so that means I can start focusing on these guys a bit more again. I'm probably gonna get another one out. So let's go ahead and get you out somewhere. And you are probably gonna be the triple shot and we'll also make you see the other stuff. Okay, very good, I'm trying to collect these as fast as possible. That was our camo round, I guess. So you gotta be careful about that. Okay, keep collecting these. I don't know how much experience it's earning. Oh, it's close to that 3,000. It's really close, so we might be able to get it soon. Not this round, but next round then. What do you got now? 2,839. Might need be another round on top of that, but we'll have to wait and see. We're earning up cash real quick though. Um, 3,000 experience for the banana plantation. There are 16 banana bunches per round, or I can go and save up for the money bank. Generates money each round and stores it in the bank. Earns 15% interest each round. So if I held on to it for longer, that is very interesting. Um, for right now, let's just go for the direct thing because I can afford it. Oh, it's actually pretty expensive though. So I don't know, I'll just keep going with what I got because if I could just keep going with what I got and not collect that every time, it's gonna get crazier and crazier every round. That's with the interest. Um, okay, so we will just collect what we can because it's gonna be a good chunk of experience until we get that. But we have enough experience for the Dart Monkey to finally unlock the Plasma Monkey Club for 30,000 experience. Elite membership of this club grants the Dark Monkeys even more power. Did I say Dark Monkeys? Dart Monkeys. Oh, look at you guys, he looks so cool, and he's wearing underwear, that's funny. So we need to earn up another 35,000, or I guess 34,500 at this rate. But hey, we'll get there, slowly but surely. Hopefully we'll be able to do that by the end of today's episode. Let's go ahead and do the sharpshooter. Still can't earn that experience up just yet. So things are a little scary for right now, but I think we'll be able to make it work. I'll get all these bananas, don't miss out on those. So they're 25 now instead of 20. That's what the 25% upgrade is, of course. So what are you at, 16? So you're about halfway there. A little bit less than halfway. See, so the 6800 is probably something we wanna save for as well. But if we can get the monkey farms just to work our way, things can go really, really well. It can be great. So like, we might even wanna invest the money we have coming out since we're handling this all right. I mean, this might get real scary real quick. We'll have to be careful. But uh, let's do a second monkey farm. And we're gonna do let me take a look at the upgrades. Cause what is Marketplace? Generates money each round and adds it to your total, no fuss. I feel like that would be pretty good, but I want the increased thing. Like I think this is still the best bet. I mean, I think that's what the banana power farmer, or the, the banana farmer power up actually does, is he collects these bananas for you. I'm not really too worried about that though, for right now, I'm just worried about doing this all myself. I don't mind so a little bit of manual labor. That, that's fine for me. I can get my hooves dirty, doing a little bit of work out here in the, the fossil field. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. I'm picking a lot of these up, but this is where things are getting overwhelming. I might go ahead and activate uh, Quincy's move, and I think that was a good time to do it. So, yeah. Okay, so, oh, okay, so we can get you the uh, banana plantation now, which might be worth our while, because you're just gonna be producing a ton of bananas. And that is just so much money coming in now. So if we could just keep on earning up experience until you have 3,500. I think things will go perfectly fine. Got it, got it. Okay, so, yeah, we're getting quick cash now, which is great, this is exactly what I wanted. So, once you start affording that second banana farm, and Quincy can just do his thing, because he's Quincy and he's awesome. So we're at this part where it's gonna get a little scary, because, oh gosh, go ahead and get this cash, because this is happening. So let's go ahead, Quincy, go ahead and get rid of those as much as you can. We missed out on a couple, but it's not the end of the world. It's okay, don't complain so much. But if we take a look at this, Super Monkey Fan Club convert 10, up to 10 nearby dart monkeys, including himself into uh, Super Monkeys for 10 seconds. That's what I really want, and we almost have it. Um, and then we'll be at wave 40. So I'm thinking that maybe we'll go into free play, because I want to see what's after that, and just sort of go crazy, you know? And then after that, we'll do one more map that, that even everything out. Uh, for now, things are a little bit difficult, but I think we'll be able to make it. I just need to hold on for a little bit longer. Can you guys do that for me? It's not looking like it. Oh, I have enough for this though. Okay, so that's gonna do some damage. Seriously? A lot of damage. I know, you're pouting, you're shouting. I don't wanna hear it, but you're gonna you're gonna tell me it anyways. Um, so, 
We'll go ahead and do another one this way, I think would be pretty good. Look at all that stuff. Okay, holy cow, holy cow. So we need to go ahead and do this and then quickly, dart monkeys, dart monkeys, dart monkeys, yeah! Okay, that sort of worked. Yes, Quincy gets rid of the rest of them. Victory, so we get 150 cash, but we're gonna keep moving through free play. Um, and why we're gonna do that, and we're still super monkeys. So this lasts maybe more than one round, but you can see these upgraded monkeys, not so much. So if we want a lot of dart monkeys, we gotta play it right. And there you go, now they're back to normal. But yeah, how much is the next thing? $42,000, isn't that insane? So we have enough for our monkey bank though, and that is generates money each round and then stores it. So we're just basically not gonna touch that anymore um, once we buy it, which is right now. Okay, so we're doing pretty good with that. And the more, I mean, I gotta make sure I don't like accidentally click it, which might be difficult for me, because you know, I, I'm, I'm very clumsy and I have hooves, but I'll do what I can. So with that being said, I should probably save up like 12,000 there. I should probably just get more dart monkeys in general if this is what I wanna continue with, you know? Okay, you know what? Get rid of them, get rid of them, get rid of them. Okay, we're doing a decent job, but I need another one way over there. We might lose, we might lose. Oh, we just lost. Oh, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, oh no, come on, the stinking touch screens. I told you, I'm not very good with my hooves. Okay, so we, we have one life left. That's not what I was planning for, but it's what ended up happening. Jeez. Um, we'll do another spike a -pult. We have a thousand for that, and then we'll do long range darts, get rid of those camos, something like that might be good. Uh, I get this money, and then I need whatever cash you have. Oh, well, did I ever buy the upgrade for you? I did. Oh, wait, right here, collect, 1,094. I want to I wanna save that up. Good, so I know where that is now. I don't have to worry about clicking it. Um, so for you, I want to go ahead and make you do something like that. I mean, I really like the triple shot. Something like that might be good. Okay, go ahead and collect this money. You're at 15, 28 now, and that's gonna get larger and larger and larger every single time. It's gonna get really crazy. I wanna see if Quincy can't get his um, other moves. That way we have like a combo of things we can probably do, and that would be good, because now you're at 1688. You're gonna get, just get more and more every time, which is really good. Okay, so we're holding stuff back really well now, but we can't make a single mistake. We have fortified ceramic balloons now. And if we lose, it's not a big deal, it's free play. So I'm not really holding on to everything for dear life, which is actually what might end up happening here if we're not careful. I need to get rid of that thing right there. And then, there we go, sure, why not? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was scary. Okay, so we're destroying everything nice and quick over there. So if we get more than one of these guys though for 6,800, we end up getting um, multiple of those, which can really help us when we're in a bad situation. So we're gonna chill out with our one health. Maybe get another one back this way then so that when we know things are getting bad, there we go, we'll be able to make it good. <laughs> that would be nice. So we already have another super monkey, which I might need in a moment. Let's go ahead and use Quincy's. I don't know if that really was all that necessary, but go ahead and upgrade that. Start using this like crazy. We have 4,600 in there. I'm gonna keep that going. And take a look at our upgrades. So we do have enough for the marketplace. And honestly, I might go for that right now. Just earn up more cash, because how else are we gonna get? Oh geez, oh geez. So do I need this? Not quite yet. How else are we going to, you know, get what we need? So we'll do 25% more. So that's gonna make me money every time. Okay, let's go ahead and do super monkeys. Just like that, we're destroying them like crazy. Well, decently enough, I guess. Ceramic fortified balloons are like really crazy tough. Okay, so that was decent, but we just need to throw out more monkeys. More and more and more of them. Problem is I'm trying to save up the 42,000, which is why I want to keep that 5,000 just growing and growing and growing, like a really nice investment. We'll have to wait and see. We can go ahead and do uh, Super Monkeys again. Nice, how are we doing on experience with these guys now? 9,000, I don't think we earn enough in free play or as much in free play, which is sort of a pain, but I can sort of understand. Okay, so. 40,000, is that really gonna be possible with my current situation? Probably not, but I wanna try, I really do. So, we're gonna keep pushing for it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the super monkeys. I do have another one if I need it, but I don't quite. That's really good, I'm trying to you know make that work however we can, whenever we can. And we still have Quincy's move. I don't know when he's gonna level up enough so that he has other stuff. Okay, I have the second one. I hope that we don't need more than two ever, but with now that we're at round 53, things are getting really nasty. Okay, we're at $10,000 now. Go ahead and do Quincy's. I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, next Super Monkeys. And like, by the time I use that one, we're halfway done the other. So if I did get a third out, that probably would be all we would need for the uh, Super Monkey Fan Club. Collect these, and we're just constantly making $25 over and over again for that. Okay, this is a problem. 
No, can you guys get it? Can you guys get it? I think you can. Remember, we only have one health. Super monkeys, got it. Okay, that was maybe a little too soon. So I'm thinking that if we could just get one more somewhere, get this guy, sure. And then just save 42,000, you're at 10,000 now. Which means that like, oh gosh, uh, we're gonna lose. Oh, maybe not. Oh, because you guys can't see them. Oh, we might be done for. Oh, we might be done for. Yep, okay, hold on. There we go. Uh, That sort of kind of worked. Nice, okay, I had to waste a bunch of cash though, unfortunately. But uh, if that has 10,000, it's getting a 15% interest, it's gonna be, what, 1,500? Yeah, 1,500. So that's pretty good. Ah, uh, we just lost though. Wait, Super Monkeys, too late. I'm really bad at this game. I just wanted the 42,000, but I guess I'm not gonna get it. Look at this dizzy monkey. He's like, oh, I lost again. Okay, I don't care. Um, and we'll keep on moving to the next level then. I, I at least have gotten the experience for the upgrades, but getting them seems to be really difficult. So this level's called Shoots, and if we don't get it this time, maybe I'll move back to a really easy level and try it there. So the problem with these, it looks like, is that they get blocked off from a ton of different places. So, ooh, no, 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 no. And we're just going in, and then I guess going out? Oh, that's so weird. Okay, I don't wanna put Quincy there, but the, the touch screen's sort of freaking out. So I'm gonna do this here and sort of see how things end up going, because I don't really get where they're actually gonna be moving. So we're gonna keep Quincy out, and hopefully he'll be enough for a little while so that we can get another banana farm out. Oh, they change every time. Oh, that's bizarre. Okay. Hmm. So how are banana how are our dart monkeys doing with upgrades? I mean 9,000 experience right now. They need to get another, you know, lots of experience. I don't know what was happening there. So we're just gonna keep moving and keep trying. But this is weird. It didn't really illustrate to me very clearly what was happening there. But now I know. Now I know. So we want to get dart monkeys out that way, but I wanna get the banana farm first. It's a thousand sixty. No. Seriously? I don't want to play any other map. Did that actually get through? Yeah, you're telling me seriously. You're the one who's shooting the, the arrows. It's your fault. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna be happening. Come on, come on. We're almost at 700. Okay, they're gonna, oh, you know what? No, that's not gonna work. I want it to work, but it's not going to. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and do that, and then I think we'll do, I think, you know, triple shots would be nice, but I have to give up on some other stuff, which I don't like so much. Come on, come on. Okay, with the combination of Quincy, though, it's not so bad. Okay, so his shots are bouncing between stuff pretty well. Already on round seven out of 40. I mean, if my goal is just to get to the end, I can do that just fine. But I want to get that 40,000 cost monkey. I don't know if that's actually gonna be possible though. It seems really difficult. I feel like this game's more difficult than BTD5. I never had this many problems with it, but I'm also trying new stuff all the time in this one. Instead, you know, like with BTD5, I was playing on my own, I just played what would work every time. So, okay, so. Yeah, we're, we're doing pretty well. I just need 1,060, which we're at 747 right now, so only a couple hundred more. We might even be able to do it by the end of this round. We'll have to wait and see. Come on now, come on. Quincy doesn't even have a chance yet. Okay, so we're at 950, almost there. Lots of blue balloons right now, that's an insane amount. And got it, okay, so I'm just gonna put this, I guess, in the center. I mean, I guess it doesn't have really any Wait, what happened? Some tracks have objects that can be removed for a cost. Uh, okay. So I can like, I can remove this? Remove for 350, no. Uh, that's, that's like monkey money? Or 300 for the in, I don't know. Weird. I guess you can do that. If it's just sort of messing up your strategy. Good to know. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some of this money as much as we can. I mean, we want the double to start things up. I keep on accidentally clicking on that. That's gonna that's gonna blow up in my face at some point. We're gonna accidentally press something and buy it when I didn't mean to. Let's go ahead and use Quincy's move because that seems a little scary. Get more money. And let's do that. We'll have to wait and see. There's a the triple shot. And we're getting pretty far now without uh, getting too many monkeys. So, shows that you can survive off of quite a little. Hmm. So let's do long life bananas, because I do like having the more valuable bananas, for sure. I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> Grab some of those then. Oh, here come all the yellows. I think we can handle them? Yeah, no problem. So we need 510 now. Five, oh, let's do the 680 first. Come on, come on. Okay, whoa, those are moving quick. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Jeez, he complains a lot. He's a little too mouthy. Okay, grabbing those. 
Oh, that's a lot. It's up to you. Thank you. You did it. Okay, so got him. That's very good. Oh, that's gonna hurt, maybe. Oh, no, he got him and level up for Quincy as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get our second dart monkey out now, and I'm gonna put him over this way, I think. Just sort of work with that and see how things go. Because I still need to upgrade quite a lot here, but we're gonna do banana plantation next. Or maybe I could get a really early monkey bank and just sort of let that build up a ridiculous amount of cash over time. Like, that might be worth our while. I don't really know. And then that way I can actually just focus on the game. But that's 2380, that's a lot to get to at first. So for right now, let's go ahead and do something like this. I want you to be able to see camos as well. Make a bunch of money with all these bananas. And that way I can, like I said, just focus on the game, earn up cash that way, and then like, oh, look at this, I have like 15,000 in there. Because once I start getting like a $10,000 in there, every round is gonna earn up, what, another 1,000 at the least? Oh, come okay, come on. come on, there we go. So, 2380 is gonna be tough to get to, but I think we could work our way there over time. Jeez, but maybe not. Dude, you need to take the chillest of pills because you just won't calm down about anything right now. Okay, do that, and we'll try doing this, and what are you, you're, you're a triple shot. You're probably gonna be a triple shot as well, because that's just really helpful to have. Can you see, uh, you can see camo, so we, sh we should be fine with all of that. 23 AD though is gonna be really tough. I mean, I know I need some crossbow monkeys soon. Okay. I mean, I probably should device, diversify my team soon, but I just, like, I feel like this is obviously the best way to earn up experience for the dart monkey. And that's what I want to do each episode, is try to focus on one tower to earn up a lot of experience. We did that with the ice monkey last episode, but I want to go even deeper next time and, like, try to really get, like, all these max upgrades on them. But that might just take a lot of time. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, Quincy, go ahead and do this. No, never mind. I'm glad I missed. Because we didn't need it. Got it, okay, we got a bunch of leads coming in, but this guy can pop them. You see how he hit straight down the line there? That's what you really want, because it's sort of a collateral shot with the mine. Whatever it's supposed to be, the juggernaut thing. Okay, so, get more money. We're, oh yeah, yeah, we got it, we got it. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave that there. I don't care about, I'm not gonna give two hoots about it. There we go, that was pretty good. Hit multiple of those. So at this rate, what do I wanna start doing? I'm thinking that we will probably get Another monkey out here, and he'll be the crossbow monkey. He's not really reaching too well right now, but soon enough, because he'll really start reaching. So we're just gonna play the game normally at this point and totally ignore the fact that we have the bank. I think that's our best bet. So let's go ahead and do quick shots, very quick shots. Okay, so that seems pretty good. Now if we were just to put out an overwhelming amount of monkeys, that would be helpful. I gotta be honest, this is like one tough setup. I mean, maybe we should do one buccaneer monkey, and then like he can earn up money on the side. That'd be pretty cool. I probably want to put him on the side that Quincy isn't on though, because I want him to have crow's nest, and then probably grape shot would be good. I think that'd be fun. Because like if we take a look at his upgrades, um, which he's getting pretty close to some of these. I mean, they're really expensive, but like we've done this one, then I don't know what this will do. Uh, generates more cash per round, increase cash earned by all other merchant men by the number of merchant men. So the more merchants you have, the crazier they get. Isn't that cool? That seems like super duper late game, but definitely worth it. Okay, well for now, who can we upgrade and how? Not too much anywhere, but like how are you doing on cash? 2,000 already, that's pretty nice. Will we need to use Quincy's thing? Not quite yet, good stuff. I think as long as we have this guy, this will really help speed things up. And we might make more than one so that they're all generating cash, but that sounds good. And they're also generating, you know, popping power, firepower, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we're gonna have to save up 2,000 for that, though, which shouldn't be too bad. We're getting there already. Oh, Come on, 1955 is what we need. Right now we're at 18,000, or 1,800, and I think that'd be really well set off if I had 18,000. So then I know you're gonna be generating money. I think it's like 250 every time, so, it would take like four or five rounds for you to earn up. Actually, I guess like 10 rounds for you to earn up back what you had. So that's gonna be tough. But overall, it'll work. Okay, level up! Cool, we got more monkey money. I mean, at this point, I think I have enough to make, like, buy like one power or use one power. We just have to get it started and do this and then grab it. 2,500, cool. Okay, so. Just gotta be careful about everything that's going on right now. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get the crossbow. That definitely can't hurt with what's going on. Um, fourth, I keep pressing that darn statue. <laughs> I just wanna buy it to get rid of it so it's not in my way constantly. So should we get this money upgrade? I think we should. Go for it. No, I don't want that. Okay, so we could try another buccaneer right here. Oh gosh, because we're taking so much damage. This strategy does not work as well as some of the other ones. Uh, yeah, I'm actually a little worried right now. We might not win. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see because I don't know which side it's gonna come out from. And that's sort of like the most important thing is like what side is it coming out from? Incoming. Okay, so Quincy, I need you to be ready for this. Come on, come on, come on. This is not gonna win. work. Ah, oh, man, so it seems like if I try to play in mine for earning up a ton of cash later, I just get my butt kicked. So that's not what we gotta do. Maybe it'd just be better just to get a stronger setup out and then like after it's super strong, just earn up money and like spend an hour on that. I don't know. So like no banana farms this time. No banana farms for sure. Okay. So yeah, we'll just try to do a really powerful team this time. It'll have some dart monkeys, of course, but it'll also have some other stuff. And I think that'd be good. Um, and then maybe after we know we're going to win, like, okay, this can definitely destroy a Moab, I'll move in and we will do some other stuff. So for right now, I would say razor sharp shots would be good once we can earn that up. Oh, okay, yeah. let's do long range shots. It also makes me feel silly because it's like, okay, I wasted those power ups I used, but I mean, I guess it's the point that we get like 200 per win. 200, like, not per win, but, well, yeah, I guess around 150 per win. Get rid of those, Quincy, thank you. So we'll do razor sharp shots, and that should be pretty good for you for now. Okay. So I think like keeping everything at the center point really isn't that bad of an idea, especially if we get more of the Buccaneer monkeys. I think that would be really good. And maybe just like I said, make them more firepower oriented. Don't worry about the cash as much. Like the cash seems like it'd be a good idea, but it doesn't pay out enough at the beginning. So it's like, it feels like it's not worth the risk until we're already winning. That's really hard to say. Okay, so 450, 460, almost at 470. And once again, I'm gonna put this on this side because we already have Quincy on that side. So this should help out a lot. I mean, at first he can't reach too much is a problem. But over time, I can go ahead and give him the long range, which will really help. Boom, now I can start reaching some of those, but he misses every single time, apparently. It's so maybe not the best place to put him, but we'll find out. Okay, keep moving. Yeah, I'll try to make these episodes a bit more longer. We'll have to wait and see, though. <laughs> uh, should I do faster shooting? You know, we'll do Grape Shot. Grape Shot's almost always reliable, but for right now, we might as well get longer range with the, the Crow's Nest. And we have lots of options. It's just about saving up money, which can be tough to do, for sure. But we've gone through many rounds where we've totally destroyed uh, different, uh, what's it called? We've totally destroyed Moabs before, and that's been fine. So I wanna keep trying that but I wanna be able to make it work as well as possible, you know? So for right now, let's go ahead and destroy all these. It looks like we're doing pretty good. Let's do that. Let's do spike a pole. I like spike a pole a lot. I think it's pretty helpful, especially when it shoots through stuff. And then we'll do the grape shot over that way. I think that the buccaneer monkey is probably my favorite tower though. I just, I like that guy a lot. He just, he seems like he does a lot of good stuff. Like he's getting rid of all this stuff pretty easily. And eventually he starts falling behind. I feel like this game is more difficult just because of how the heroes work. Oh, come on. Oh, that was your fault, dude. That was 100%, stop your complaining. I don't wanna remove that statue, I promise. I'll, ne I'll never ever wanna remove that statue, that's not true. Probably wanna remove this one more, but uh, not now, later. One $350 isn't that much. That's when we'll start removing that stuff. Okay. Let's keep moving with all of this. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Nice stuff, level up for you. Yes, yes I know. You know, let's do another one. We'll do another monkey down this way. I think that we'll want triple shot for you. That sounds good. Then get another 75 so we can get that, get that shot. Okay, get that. I mean, we could set up the, the you know, you to have the Moab Mauler or whatever it is for the that dude, and that could be pretty good. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, the cannons would be pretty nice even just for now. That's 765, that's pretty affordable, we can do that. Ready, set, 765, got it. So the monkey pirates is what we want for you, which is always super duper good. So we'll keep an eye out for that, and we'll try to get more monkeys wherever we can get them. So for right now, that's like here. 
And we might do, probably just, I guess, another crossbow monkey for you. I guess we don't have a crossbow monkey out just yet. So let's change that up a little. Because they can be good, for sure. All right. Yeah. Okay. So that's 5.30, we can at least do that for now. See, I'm just not gonna worry about it, I'm just gonna survive. Like, I don't care how much money we earn up as long as we make it to the free play, and then I'll know we have a pretty powerful team. And then maybe we could start moving up and earning cash that way. No matter how long it takes, right? Like, if it takes another hour to earn up a, not only like the 40,000, then I'm gonna be like, oh, I don't know. But I hope it won't. Let's see. I might wanna, like, I think that we wanna start getting our whole setup ready, though. Like, whatever we wanna use. I think we wanna do that, and then we wanna have one last buccaneer over this way, I suppose. I mean, it might be smarter to have him here because we are starting to look a little thin on that left side. So for you, we'll go ahead and do something like that, I think would be better. Maybe if we could get that whole uh, airplane thing with you going on, that might be good. And we haven't really seen too much of a risk yet. It's just that this map is tough. It really is an intermediate map, you know? Come on, come on. Let's do what we can. Yes. But it might just be easier not to focus on max tier upgrades for the monkeys right now. Like I would really like to, but it, it just it might not be a good idea. Maybe we gotta focus on just defeating all the maps and learning them properly. There's always, you know, something I'm doing wrong. That's the point of learning. Yeah. Okay, so for you, we already got a crossbow guy. It might be good to have two of them now. What does this next crossbow do? I know, I know, there's a, no, 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 I wasn't done. Crit shots every few seconds that do a lot of damage. That sounds pretty good. So we're gonna make you have really sharp shots. We made you have quick shots. So that's a decent balance. Okay, so this is turning out okay. It's not super crazy is the thing. But honestly, it feels like we're not earning it much money. Okay, so we got a bunch of yellows that way. If we could just, you know, save up the 3825 between now and round 40, I don't know if it's possible, but if we do, we, we won. For sure. <laughs> so we can try that out. And then after that, if we fail, it's not a big deal. So already we're at 1500. We have five more waves to go. But it's just a matter of can we survive for that long? So far, it's looking like we can. We just have to be ready for if we need to use Quincy stuff. I mean, I like Quincy as a hero a lot, so I, that's why I want to keep using it. But maybe I'll try out some different heroes soon. I haven't really given it too much thought. Like, I want to try Oban a little bit more, but I don't know if I'd be very good with Oban. But that's why I want to sort of figure out strategies that might work with or without heroes, you know? So we're at 3,500, so I can almost do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got it. So that'll be really good for the uh, wave 40 that's coming up. And now we can start focusing on some other stuff. The 2,500 here, maybe. Might be our next best bet. Okay, so let's, let's see what we might want to try. Okay. So far, we're handling all these balloons no problemo. This is 38, so, oh gosh, oh gosh, I don't like those. Okay, we're at 39, and these guys aren't too bad so far. Yeah, these are all the white balloons, and these are all the zebras. And I think we might end up getting some regrows here in a moment. Let's get the 2505. That's gonna keep us shooting really quickly. I just wish you had a little bit better range that I have at least placed you a little bit better. Okay, so we have the Moab, got it. So there's victory, we got our money. Let's continue with free play. Uh. I'm gonna go ahead and start with that right away, because this is looking a little scary. Do the 1700 there, can't quite afford that one. And just keep building things up. I mean, it gets crazier and crazier as you go along, and that's sort of the hard part with getting everything beyond this. It's just so difficult. Um, I wish there was a way I can increase your range right now. Oh, we have 36,000 experience with the uh, Buccaneer Monkey, though. Almost 37 for the uh, Carrier Flagship, which sounds amazing. Okay. So let's go ahead and just destroy some stuff with this. I mean, I wanna keep with the dart monkeys as much as possible. Honestly, their upgrades are quite expensive, the dart monkeys. Which is like, you know, something I'm a little surprised about. Oh my gosh, wow, that stuff got by quick. I wasn't even watching that. That was ridiculous. Okay, so we need to do something fast about that. If it's, you know, getting another buccaneer out here, which it might just be. I mean, I wanted to, like I said, earn up more experience for our actual dart monkeys, but that doesn't seem like a very good idea at the moment. Where can I fit you? That might be a good squeeze. Right there, I guess. And make sure you have really long range, and then maybe you'll be more of a money earner. And we can do grape shots with you, that's pretty decent. I mean, maybe it would have been, eh, doesn't matter too much. Okay, so we'll try that out. And that seems to be uh, making the next step we needed. But even now, we're getting pretty destroyed. Uh, We're, we're working on it, but. 
Okay, 1530 for you, that's not really too bad. Oh, 1700 for you, we can afford that as well. So that's not too bad. Now we're making money from you every time. So if we could earn up to 5,000, that might be you know, pretty useful. Gotta pay attention for when we start running into uh, Moab so I can just maul them. I mean, I know it's not a Moab mauler, but you know what I mean. Maybe getting some cannons out. Oh my gosh, we're done, we're done. Maybe not, maybe not. Uh, oh, that was scary. You know what? Maybe we should get some uh, cannons out right now. I just don't know where I want them. I guess here is good. I need to increase your range a lot. And then we need to do, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll do more, uh, oh no, I didn't mean to press that one. Oh, we got some experience for you though. We've already, have we gotten this one? Oh no, we gotta go over here. So we have their balloon impact or recursive cluster. What is this one? Every three shots, the cluster bombs send out more cluster bombs for even more destruction. We'll go ahead and do that one. And that's 2,000, that's actually not too bad. We can afford that in a second. Okay, I'll take it. 2,040, yep, got it. Okay, so that shouldn't be too bad. None of them are in his range that he can actually attack right now. These are all camo. That's sort of sinky, but now we got it. So, ooh, we got something here. So we're at 36,000, still not quite enough for that. That's what I want, I wanna get them all in order, so. Almost that, what do we got now? 36,879, geez. Okay, so where's our next Moab at? I know that's gonna pop up soon. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of balloons. Using Quincy's power was pretty good. But oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, we might lose. We might, we're gonna lose. Jeez, I'm so bad at this game. Okay, well, I've done what I can to upgrade whatever I can. I couldn't really play well enough to afford any of those super major dart monkey upgrades. I want to at some point, so if you guys have any hints for uh, leveling up and trying to just earn up money at the same time, I would love to hear. But uh, for now, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Bloons Tower Defense 6. If you watched the video, make sure you comment Zebra Monkey so they watch at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. On the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.